Now, this next question I think you kind of touched upon earlier. Do you think there's a difference today in players and coaches than there was when you were in the game? And I know you weren't not that far away from it from when you retired, but definitely back in the late 90s till to now. Yeah, coaches back then actually had meaningful coaches. Okay. Now people is about a job. Okay. I've seen some coaches that have no clue what they're doing. I've seen coaches who really don't put their passion into it, where our coaches actually, because they weren't getting big checks, they actually wanted to make kids better. Mm -hmm. They wanted to make people better, and they wanted to win games. Mm -hmm. And you see it from back then, those people, those are leaders. Mm -hmm. Now it's about a job most of the time. Some of them still have the passion. Sure. But you can look, how can a player tell you as a coach what to do? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's, that's just not, that doesn't happen. Because there's no respect in between, and there's no leadership and guidance in there. So that's why I stepped away from the game of basketball. It was, it was mm -hmm. becoming too much of a business instead of actually the game that we really love. Well, you know, I've interviewed a lot of people on this show, and I would argue with anyone after sitting here with you for about 10 or 15 minutes, I think you have the attributes to really be a coach. Have you ever considered that? I've been asked to do that a lot. I, I think uh, I think my calling will come when it's time. God will show me the vision. Okay. He'll show me that way. I thought about coaching my old high school in Dulles. Nice. I thought about going back to Kentucky and, sure. you know, just to teach these guys at the young that mentally is where you're going to win. Mm -hmm. I've, I've withstood stood things mentally. That's why I've been successful. You know, in my opinion, technology's had a profound impact on all of our lives. Do you think that's a function of what's happened with the NBA, or is it the money? What is it? What is your thoughts? It's, a, it's, it's, it's all of it. Okay. But the biggest thing you said was technology. Mm -hmm. If you look back, our lives would have been completely different if we grew up with TVs like these kids do nowadays with computers. Mm -hmm. Not to say it's a bad thing, but the problem is we have no one to to structure it. When there was the wild, wild west, you all of a sudden you had to get law, you know, the guys sure. would come in and tell you, then all of a sudden those things started to transform. What happens is we don't control the, the, the success of our lives. You mm -hmm. know, when you look at computers, there should be a limit on things. Mm -hmm. You can control that. You know, we parental guidance, you can control those things. But we allow so much to go out and so much to go on mm -hmm. that we've lost a grasp hold of that and we need to get that back because technology, it can, it can advance. But until you keep it in a mass group of, of protection and guidance, it'll just get lost. That's a great point. 